Okay, this is my orchid haul video. I went today to the Conejo Orchid Society show and sale, which basically was a, a sale to benefit the Orchid Society. Some of these uh, were grown in people's backyard growing space, and some of these are new plants, but I thought I would show you what I got. Uh, now this space that you're seeing here is not a grow space. Uh, I just kicked out the cats and uh, brought these in to the bedroom so that I could clean them off and and uh, take some pictures without kitty cat interference. By the way, it's, it's uh, Hug Your Cat Day, so uh, be sure to hug your kitties. Okay, so first we have a $6 Zygo. Uh, obviously out of bloom. This is what she is. And I have no idea what she's going to look like. I haven't um, looked her up yet. Uh, I got there. It, they started at 10. I got there a little after 11. And they said they had a huge flowering zygote. And it went within the first 10 minutes after they opened the doors. So I'm like, okay, yeah, I like zygos. This has obviously been grown outside, as you can tell from the spotted leaves. That's pretty common in uh, this area. The water is really hard and black spots uh, get all the leaves uh, from being watered, uh, sprayed with water. But um, I know black spots are, are not uncommon with um, Oncidium hybrids. And it looks like there's some Oncidium in this plant somewhere. Um, so that's the first one. My $6 I go. This is a $12... That's what it's going to look like. The picture's upside down. It is a BLC Jiminy Cricket. Um, I have never seen a plant with, with leaves like this. And this is also grown outside. You can see the leaves are red, so it's got, it gets lots of sunshine. Uh, but this is different to me. And I thought, well, you know what? This is a really cool plant. Uh, all these plants, I guess, can be grown outside. So, um... <laughs> I guess I'm going to expand my growing space and put some outside. Um, anyway, I have to look this one up. So that's that one. This was one of the ones I was looking for. I have um, an epidendron at work. I really like it. It's, it's in bloom right now. Uh, they had tons of these. Obviously, they're grown outside. There's a lot of damage to the little leaves on these. Just from being outside I think but there's also lots of air roots uh, it's it's basically a no ID reed stem epidendrum and it's supposed to be purple which is why I got it they had tons of orange ones but not a big fan of orange uh, there's little baby growth um, I don't know though if I want to keep it staked because if it's not staked the they really fall over. So I'm really not quite sure what I'm going to do with it. Um, I've already given them all a, all the leaves an alcohol bath. Um, hopefully that will help. Although I've seen a couple of gnats flying around in here and I'm really annoyed because it looks like somebody's got gnats and I don't know if those fungus gnats or I don't know what they are. Anyway, um, where my ins let's do the Lelia next. This is Lelia Gouldiana. Can you see that? And then there is what it's going to look like. There were a lot that I liked better as far as color was concerned, but this one was 10 bucks, and I really liked that part. This one and the, um, the Jiminy Cricket are both grown in coconut husk. I like her because she's got some nice root stuff. Whoops, focus, root stuff growing on in there. Um, you can totally tell she's grown outside with those red <laughs> ends of the leaves and a little leaf damage, but hey, um, I think I'll, I'll expand my outdoor grow stuff. And finally, grow space. Finally, this is my new encyclia. Uh, I have an encyclia Bracians, B-R-A-E-S-C-E-N-S, -E something like that. And I love it. It's small bulb, very delicate little plant. This is not small bulb, and this is the stem, which has blooms at the end. 
and it is not delicate <laughs> the way the other one is and this is the name so I have absolutely no idea what those bulbs are gonna look like I mean the blooms are gonna look like $18 so uh, the most expensive one but hey um, so this is my orchid haul. Did I get everything? Epidendrum and Cyclia, uh, Lelia, the mini cricket, and the Zygo. Uh, anything you guys have to, to tell me about these kind of plants or about what the stupid gnats are, uh, I'd appreciate the input. Um, also wanted to show you one more thing. This is my aqua stone. See all that salt on top? <laughs> That's how much minerals is in our water. <laughs> That's just really gross. So, uh, we cannot use, uh, I, I cannot use tap water in any of my uh, water culture plants. Oh, one more thing. I met so many nice people at the Conejo Orchid Society meeting that I went ahead and joined the silly thing. Um, is a half price for a year and they gave me a whole bunch of, of raffle tickets for their next meeting which is next Monday so I'm totally excited with my new orchid haul okay sorry uh, I know I know you guys are the only ones in the world who can appreciate me I'll talk to you later bye <laughs>